Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Terraria Induced Thoughts, where I give my thoughts over footage of Terraria. And today I'm talking about hype culture. Now, for those of you that don't know, hype culture is a term that's been developed in recent years due to overhyped games eventually disappointing the general audience. This can also apply to movies, books, whatever, really. So, my thoughts on the situation are rather simple. It's normal to get excited and be invested in a project or a game or a movie or, or whatever that you're interested in that you want to see do well. That's totally normal. However, when some things get overhyped or people overhype them and blow them out of proportion, that's where things can go very wrong very fast. If something is hyped at just the right amount to the point where people understand the, know about your product and are very excited about it, then it could be good. And it could be good, but if things are overhyped, like, say, Watch Dogs, which was hyped as the thinking man's Grand Theft Auto and the best thing since sliced bread, then it ends up disappointing upon release, then you expect a lot of backlash, consumers being turned off by your product and might not buy from your, pro buy from your company again, which does suck, but hey, that's how the free market works. It's very unforgiving, cruel. So... In, I guess to kind of wrap this up, because there really isn't much here to talk about, if you're going to be excited about something, that's fine. Just don't overdo it on your part. And to companies, it's natural to market your product. You want your product to succeed. You have to get the word out there. You have to make a strong effort to get people talking about this product, get people wanting to know what it, what it can do, what how it can benefit the person. But... Don't go at overdoing it. Don't pull what, let's see, what's a good name? John Romero did with Daikatana, which is a classic fit, yeah, case of ego getting in the way of results. For those of you that don't know the story, John Romero developed Doom and Wolfenstein as well as Quake, or was on the development team for Quake. And, you know, he had a great track record in gaming. So him making, him forming his own studio and making his own game and him advertising it as, you know, essentially the second coming in first-person shooter form, people naturally were excited, and so many things started to go wrong. The delays occurred, the, you see, delay, lots of delays occurred, reports of people leaving the studio happened, and Daikatana, when it re did release, ended up being a big, giant mess, much like our much like the political state of this country. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the hype culture or in pop culture in general. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe if you want more from me. That being said, I am Nero X, and I'm out of here.